Okay, so the way that I'm going to kind of show you guys uh, how to do this problem is a lot of times I teach difference of squares a little bit a couple different ways. Uh, but for this one, I'm just going to kind of show you the definition of difference of two squares and then how we can use, apply that to this problem. So the definition of two squares says when you have a squared minus b squared, the factored form of that is a plus b times a minus b. So that's really important because if you notice you have a square number minus another square number, you don't need to think about the factoring part and like doing the A, C, and box method and all this other kind of stuff. You just know if you have a square number minus another square number, you can write it like that, right? So when I automatically look at this problem, I'm looking at my numbers and I notice that 25, that's a square number, and 9's a square number, right? I just need to see, can I rewrite y to the fourth and z squared as squared numbers? Um, so what we're going to do is, if I was going to write 25 as a squared number, that's the same thing as 5 squared, right? And then can I write y to the fourth as a squared number? Y to y squared squared, right? You could write that as like y squared um, squared, right? And then let's look at 9. We can write that as 3 squared, correct? And then we can write z as z squared. So what I'm going to do now is I can rewrite these together as a squared number. So I can write this as 5y squared squared minus 3z squared. Right? Because since you're squaring both of them, you can just write them as that product squared. Since I'm squaring both of these, I can rewrite this right as a product squared. So now, as I've written like this, you guys see how I have a squared? minus b squared, right? I have two squared terms, where you can now say a equals 5y squared and b equals 3z. So now when I just want to do my factoring form, all you got to do is kind of plug in a and b for there. So what you're going to have is 5y squared minus 3z times 5y squared plus 3z. There you go. Pretty close. 